So this tutorial, I'm gonna break down how to do the boho stretch, um, which is a technique I came up with. Um, if you want to just take the wave out of the hair a little bit and add a small amount more length into the hair, this is what you're gonna do. So to do it, you just need a blow dryer, ideally one that has multiple heat settings. Um, if it's the first time you're doing this, I'd recommend you go medium. Um, if you've done it before, I've done it countless times you can go for hot but um, what you want is the strongest force of air with a medium to hot heat depending on if you've done it before so the idea behind it is the heat softens the fibers in the hair and as we do like a stretching action and as the hair cools down it then sets in its new position so it will be stretched um, I do recommend proceeding with caution if you've not done it before. Don't go and get them as straight as you can. I would work in small increments, so you're getting a little bit straighter, check if you like it. A little bit straighter, check if you like that. Um, if you've done it, obviously, multiple times, then you're good to go for what you want. If it's your first time, proceed with caution just because you don't want to overstretch the locks. So the idea behind what you're going to do is you're going to, with one hand, you've got your blow dryer. With the other hand, you've got your locks. And we're going to put some tension in the locks to, to visibly stretch them, as you can see. So this is unstretched. And when we stretched it, you can see we're going to take some of the wave out of the hair. Um, it's really important when you're doing this to not fixate on one area. So when the heat's here, you don't want to be going like because all that's going to happen is you're going to get one area of really straight locks and everything else will be the same. So what you want to do is just make sure that you're kind of evenly distributing the heat in terms of how close you are to the locks and how long you spend on a particular section. So we're going to go from side to side, side to side, side to side, down the lock, up again, side to side, side to side, side to side, 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 down. And then we're probably going to check, see where we're at, go back if we need to. So I just wanted to pause to show you guys the difference between the stretch side and the unstretched side. It's a super subtle difference, um, but I love it. It makes me feel more beachy in the locks, if that's even a thing. I don't know. Um, but you can see, you can see the difference. It's, it's subtle, but you can see it there. Um, so yeah, so at this point you would look, you'd assess, do I want to go straighter? Turns out I'm actually really happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and match this side to this side. So guys, here are the results of the boho stretch. I hope that this tutorial was informative. If you have any questions at all, then please do get in contact with us at Customer Service, info at boholocks.com. And as ever, we'll be happy to help you. But I hope that you feel empowered and confident and good to go on doing your boho stretch. Thanks for watching.